Hello, everybody, and welcome to... Damn, it's been a while. I've been... Well, I say busy is kind of an understatement of what I have been recently. Uh, I helped an office move that took three days. Uh, and then we were getting ready for Oktoberfest, and that took forever. And then after that, we were getting the van ready for uh, the Great American Beer Festival. Which, if anybody out there actually knows what's going on with the Great American Beer Festival, you would realize that that's like, let's see, today is Thursday? Yeah, that's tomorrow, and I'm still in my studio. Now, there's a reason for that. And that is that I'm not going to the Great American Beer Fest, which is perfectly fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, I'd actually prefer to stay here, honestly. I don't care much about beer, so I had no real reason to go to the Great American Beer Fest outside of it's in Denver, and I've never been to Denver before. But me and my dad were talking, and we decided that it's probably better for at least one of us to stay in case something breaks and we have to fix it. Um, now, my sister is competent when it comes to computers, but you know she just cannot beat or even match or even come close to our experience with it. So we decided that I should stick around because me going and him staying would kind of defeat the entire purpose of going down to the Great American Beer Fest. So yes, I'm not going to Colorado, uh, which I guess kind of turned out to be... I don't want to say a good thing because that sounds selfish, but it's actually, I guess, kind of is. Okay, so this entire thing has been a just a cursed thing from the get-go. When we were working on the van, everything was failing. Just one thing after another. Everything was failing. It's just been an entire cluster for the past three weeks. Everything has just been falling apart for us. And that's why I haven't been recording in a long time. That's because I've been spending 18-hour days doing every other goddamn thing in the world. Whew. But we got the van together. We got it working. We got it you know, all upgraded and all that fun stuff. Um, it's got its night vision thermal camera, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I was actually expecting you know, the colorful thermal that shows the heat spots and everything like that. But no, this is the gray. Uh, it's like grayscale thermal, where the hot is more white, where in the cool is gray, a dark gray. Um, so yeah, I was thinking a thermal cam like you see on TV and all that fancy, fancy stuff. But no, this is a thermal camera where you can actually tell what you're looking at. Yeah. Um, we got that. We got this new HD TV, and we got a Blu-ray player, and we were playing Avatar, you know, the Keller Blind movie, and all that fun stuff. We were we got everything working. So they go off, and they get somewhere in Montana, I think. Montana. What? What does MO stand for? Is it no? It's got to be Montana. Anyway, so they get somewhere about halfway across Montana, and the transmission blows out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I see horror mo I, I, I've seen horror movies start that way. It's like, oh, the car's stalled. Let's go to a mechanic. Oh, it's the transmission. It's going to take several days for it to fix. And by the end, everybody's dead. Yeah. No, they got a rental car, and they're continuing off down there but it's going to take five business days to fix um so it'll be sometime next week by the time the transmission gets fixed so apparently we're going to uh montana or wherever the fuck it is i actually don't know off the top of my head it's yeah whatever um so that's what i've been working on for the past three weeks and yeah uh kind of insanity is kind of an understatement of what I've been going through recently because it's just so much that had to be done in so little time and everything was being pushing and everything was just falling apart we had just one of the things that just fell apart which I still haven't figured out how the hell this happened we were wiring up cameras in the uh, parking lot for Oktoberfest so we could keep an eye on the registers and stuff like that. 
Well, as we were wiring through walls, we were taping things up, fishing it through the walls and all that stuff. Well, I had a roll of electrical tape and I tied up the wires to the, you know, the fish, pulled them through and all that fun stuff. And the electrical tape disappeared. And I mean, completely disappeared. We tore apart that entire room. The roll of electrical tape is gone. Uh, I literally, I sat it down, did my thing, went down to get it again, gone. And I'm looking through it, and I spend like 10 minutes just tearing the entire place apart. Gone. The electrical tape is just gone. We still haven't found it. It's been two weeks. We still cannot find this electrical tape. And that's just a very, very tiny, tiny fraction of what has completely failed in the past three weeks. It is absolutely horrifying how bad we've had it. Um, But I've been staying calm. Because I knew that when they went off to uh, the Great American Beer Fest, I'd have five days to myself. And I spent yesterday just kind of decompressing, I guess is the proper term for it, calming down and the camera's going apeshit because of the lighting and the house is a complete fucking mess. I'm not even joking when I say it. I have not been able to even try to clean this house for three weeks so that's why the camera is this way. Is because there's a pile of empty boxes from sec- this improvised home security system that we set up for my dad just in a giant-ass pile where I normally put the camera over here. Um, yeah, that's another fun thing. <laughs> so, yeah. But that's something I'll go over later. Because I don't know if saying anything about it would affect the security of what we're doing with it. And I know security through obscurity is a bad thing. But we aren't relying solely on security through obscurity. So we can have obscurity as a layer of security. And yeah, so I'm just going to shut up about that for right now. Just like I'm not going to say anything about where my dad broke down. Just because it's layers of security. When that's all said and done, then I'll be able to talk about it. And, you know, then I can go off on what drove me absolutely bonkers about that stuff. But, yeah. Um, So, anyways. uh, After I did the office moving thing. Crap, was that three weeks ago? Holy crap, that was three weeks ago. Uh, I've done so much. In the time. But anyways, um, I got paid for doing that. 23 hours worth of work in three days. So a lot of work. So I got paid for doing that. And um, I had earmarked that stuff for a new gizmo. A new toy for me to play with. And I like toys. And I like doing unboxing videos. Because the unboxing videos are fun. Uh, well, I got... Whoop. This. Yes, I know what it says right here, but this is a lie. This is not a Wii U. You know what this thing actually is. I'll tell you exactly what this thing actually is. This is Update Simulator 2015. I'm not kidding when I say this. I was, when I got this thing, I was going to do an unboxing video, the whole thing, the whole spiel and all that fun crap. But I'm like, you know what? No. Yeah, I got to go to bed. I got to go to work tomorrow. I'll play a little bit of Mario Kart and go to bed, and then I'll do the unboxing video tomorrow. I'm like, all right, well, I pulled everything out. I set it up. I plugged it all in and turned it on, put in the game, and hit play. And it said, update is required before you can play this game. I'm like, fucking DRM. Because that's exactly what it is. It's DRM. That's the only reason they force you to update before you can play a game is they're updating their DRM. You know, they're fucking over the paying customers instead of actually fucking over the pirates, you know. And just in case you're curious. Yes, I actually fucking own Mario Kart, okay? I'm not a pirate here. Why do I have to update? Fucking DRM pisses me off to absolutely no end. Anyway, so I figure, okay, it's an update. It shouldn't take that long, so... Fine. Update, you know, a couple minutes updates. I mean, the Xbox, I've had at a, uh, the Xbox 360 I've had for years. I think the longest update I've ever had with the 360 was a half an hour, and that included downloading and updating. Well, I figured, okay, 
Mario Kart is insisting on an update. That means the update is on the disc. Nintendo does that. They're usually pretty good at that. Microsoft did that a couple times too, but Nintendo is usually significantly better at that. I'm like, okay, so I'll just down I'll just install the update off the disc. It'll take a couple minutes, you know, and then I can play some Mario Kart. An hour later, it finally finishes. And I'm like, ah, fucking A. Okay, I'll play a round of Mario Kart. All right, so it insists on rebooting, so I rebooted it. And I went to play Mario Kart, and it says, update required. I'm like, but I just fucking did it. And then it started downloading another fucking update. I'm like, God fucking damn it. Oh, I was jacked. I was pissed off. I turned it off. I just went, turned it off and went to bed because I'm like, fuck this shit. I don't have time to deal with this crap. So I went to bed. The next day I did let it finish its update and I did get to play Mario Kart and I've been playing the hell out of Mario Kart and it was quite fun. Um, so yeah, I got to play with that. Now, I want to ask this question. Now, this phablet thing here, I quite like the concept of it. I can turn it on and I can play games on the tablet or on the TV. But here's my question. I have one of these guys now. This is the Wii U Pro Controller based off of the Xbox 360 model, except the, uh, uh, yeah, the right analog stick and the buttons are inverted. So the the shape is built off of the 360 model, but the button placement is pl built off of the PlayStation model. Okay, no arguments there. Um, you very rarely use this stick, as far as I can tell anyways. So that's perfectly fine. I've got no arguments with that. Um, but this bastard insists on turning on. You cannot turn it off. The, the Wii U will not run without this thing. Which, you know what? I'm actually going to test that. I'm going to put this thing in the kitchen, which is more than far enough away. You know, that room right there, that's my bedroom. That's where I sleep. I'll take this thing into the bedroom and play a little Mario Kart before I go to bed every once in a great while. Uh, and it, uh, it barely gets signal there. And it's like, what, 15 feet, maybe 20 feet? So the kitchen would be more than far enough away. I should put this thing in the kitchen... And then turn on the Wii U and see what happens, see if it bitches. Because this thing will bitch, it, obviously it won't turn on, you know, it'll complain that it can't contact the Wii U without actually being in range of the Wii U. Though I seem to remember somebody, something about Nintendo saying that that's supposed to be able to play independently so you can take it on the road with you, you can play games that you download to the pad. I've seen nothing that can do that. So I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I've got to play with that. But my main question is, is there a way to turn that damn thing off when I'm not using it? I mean, if I'm using the Pro Controller and I'm playing on the TV, I don't need that thing. I really don't. It sits somewhere off that I'm not even looking at it. I mean, the charger is on a shelf way down there that way that I can't see from here at all. And that's the only spot that I really have where it it's good to charge there. It's, it's the only open spot I have. So it's useless to me down there. So is there a way to turn that fucking thing off? I don't know. But I figured out in Mario Kart, you can have the mini map on the side of the screen. So yeah, I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, so anyways, uh, what else did I do? Okay, yeah. So yesterday, yeah, yesterday I pretty much did nothing, but I did go out. I had to get guinea pig food. So I went out, got guinea pig food. I went to Best Buy, and then I went to Sheets to get my people food. But when I was at Best Buy, I picked up Legend of Zelda Dynasty Warriors. I mean, Hyrule Warriors. Yes, I made that joke for a reason, because Hyrule Warriors actually kind of pissed me off. Okay. First thing, plug it in. You know, it's late at night. I'm like, I'm getting tired, but I'll play a little bit of this before I go to bed. This thing has been plugged in. It's been on. 
if it's got any updates, the update should be installed already. You know, Microsoft bitches at me. The Xbox 360 bitches at me every time there's an update. There's an update. Do you want to update? Okay, apparently the Wii U doesn't do that for some dumbass reason. It doesn't let me know that there's an update. <sighs> so I put in Hyrule Warriors, and it pops up and says, Update is required. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. So I'm like, all right, well, I just updated, so this should be a quick update. No, no, another hour-long update. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll let it do its update. You know, it's if it's not a quick update, okay, whatever. I can still play afterwards because, you know, I I didn't have to do anything today, so I could sleep in, so I wasn't worried about it. So it goes and downloads an update. It installs the update. That takes a goddamn hour. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. And then it pops up and makes me accept two new EULAs, okay? One for the Wii itself and one for the Nintendo-verse thingamabob that I never actually figured out how to use. And they are evil freaking EULAs. I mean evil freaking EULAs. Oh, my God, they are terrible, terrible EULAs. If you haven't read the EULAs for Nintendo... Fucking read the Eulas for Nintendo. Basically what it says is if you have any problems with Nintendo, fuck you. Th that's that's pretty much the entirety of the thing. Is if you have a problem with Nintendo, go fuck yourself. That's how it ends up. Um, and that's basically how I took it. It's if I have a problem with Nintendo, if this thing breaks, if it does something, anything that might qualify as illegal... Well, then it's just going in the trash because I just wasted $300 on the damn thing. And it's completely worthless to argue with Nintendo because they're just going to tell me to go fuck myself. <sighs> yes, I'm pissed at Nintendo. I'm still pissed at Nintendo. I was hoping, since I hadn't heard anything about the YouTube thing, I was hoping they backed off of that. And I still haven't heard about anything about the YouTube thing. But God fucking damn it, do not buy the Wii U. It is not worth the money. Okay, I know all the good games are coming out just next year. It's just around the corner. All the good games are just around the corner. Yeah, it's not worth the money now. Okay, and as the test goes, is it worth the money now? No. Okay, Mario Kart's good. I do want the remake of Wind Waker for it. I paid for the damn thing. I'm not getting my money back. I may as well actually try to use the fucking thing. Uh, I do want to make a uh, remake for Wind Waker for it. Dynasty Warriors was fun for about 10 minutes. It's not worth it. Don't buy the Wii U, okay? Just don't buy the Wii U. Ugh. If anything, if anything, buy a PS4. But even then, there really isn't anything good for it either. I mean, okay, when the old games, um, the old consoles came out... There were good games. There were good release games for it. The Xbox 360 had Halo 3. The Xbox... Actually, I have no idea. I wasn't around for the Xbox release. I had. I paid no attention to the Xbox until I actually got one and went, holy shit, this thing's actually pretty damn good. Um, but, I mean, the Xbox One, the PS4, the Wii U, they don't really have anything worth it. Um, I got this. You can tell how prepared I am for this kind of thing. I am very, very tired. Super Mario Bros. U and Super Luigi U. Yeah, um, this came bundled with it. I haven't even put it in the console because I don't give two flying fucks. I really, really don't. <sighs> Anyways, back to Hyrule Dynasty Warriors. Now, if you haven't re heard of it before, there's a reason I'm calling it Dynasty Warriors, because as far as I can tell now, for the record, I have not pl ever played Dynasty Warriors, but as far off the rails as this game went from what Legend of Zelda normally is, I really do believe that it is Dynasty Warriors with Link skins, and that's it. Um... It is the exact kind of game I was hoping it wasn't, okay? And what I mean by that is the gameplay style, I mean, the, the how you play the game is Dynasty Warriors, okay? It matches exactly all the videos I've seen with Dynasty Warriors. And that is basically a person 
fighting hordes of enemies and you're doing spin attacks and really fast things and killing a whole bunch all at once. And yeah, it was fun. It was fun for about 10 minutes. Um, but that's that's what it is. You get a little bit of story, then you get thrown into a fight and you fight for a little while. And then you get a little bit of more story in a cutscene and then you go throw, get thrown into a fight and you fight for a little while. And it's the same thing over and over again. The, 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 the different fights are exactly the same. Um, you do exactly the same thing in the different fights. And you go here, protect this keep, go here, take care of this outpost, you know, go here, do this thing, special thing, and then go here and protect that keep again and then protect that outpost. And it's just the same thing over and over and over again. And I've made it four levels in. It is just exactly the same thing for all four of those levels, and it's kind of annoying. Um, first thing I started playing it, you know, I mean, I was worried that it was going to be like that because uh, think Soul Calibur. Okay, you get a little bit of a story, and then you fight. And then you get a little bit of a story, and you fight. And it's like two completely different things, the story and the fighting. They're just completely separate from each other. The story has no relevance on the fighting. The fighting has no relevance on the story outside of the fact that you get to the next piece of the story. That's what the, that's what Hyrule Warriors is. You get a little piece of the story, and then you go off and play a game for a little while, and then some. You come back and you re, you know play get a little bit of the story. It's like if you're reading a book, you read a chapter, and then you go play Mario Kart, and then you come back and you read another chapter, and you go play Mario Kart. The two are unrelated, <laughs> basically. And that actually kind of pissed me off. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, okay, so... You could... tell that there's a difference between the story and the gameplay in, Le in Legend of Zelda, like, say, if we take Ocarina of Time. You could tell that there was a difference between the story and the gameplay. There were definitely cutoff points and stuff like that, but it still felt like you were playing the story. Whereas uh, Hyrule Warriors... It feels like you're being told a story and then going off and playing a completely different game. And it's kind of disappointing. And I was really, really depressed about it. Um, but when I first started playing it, you start out in you know, the Hyrule Fields, out in front of the castle. And literally, you start out, you run out of the castle, and there's an army following you, and you go headlong into an army. And it is a really cool thing, where you just come in, and you just start swinging and killing everything. It is a really cool thing. I had a hell of a lot of fun with it. And I was worried right off the bat that it was a, a, a real-time strategy kind of game. And it kind of is, kind of. Um, but... It's not like I feared. Like, um, oh, damn it. What's that game called? Oh, I can never remember the title of this game. It's 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 that game where it's the roadie, the big, giant, huge fucking roadie with a guitar that can kick everything's ass, and he has an axe, a literal axe. Um, and he's voiced by Jack Black. Uh, I can never remember the game. I, pl I, I played it, and I enjoyed it. It's one of the few things I enjoy that actually has Jack Black in it. I, I quite dislike him as an actor. Uh, it's one of the few things with Jack Black I enjoyed up until it got to where it became a real-time strategy game. I hated that because I couldn't play it properly because you're in the battle instead of over the battle. It's like, how am I supposed to tell everybody what to do if I can't see anything, I don't know where anybody is, so I have to go fly my ass the entire way across the field to go tell these people what to do. But in the time it took me to get from point A to point B, the people at point A fucked themselves. <sighs> no, it's not like that. Um, but it does have some mild problem like that. I can imagine it gets worse in the later levels. But what, it, like I said, you, you go to a keep, you take over the keep, and then you go off to the next keep. But the first keep can be attacked. Now, I found that if you take over a keep and then take over all the checkpoints and actually spread out, the monsters actually have to force themselves back in before they can take over that first keep. So they actually have to take over parts in between where they are and that keep before they can get to the keep. And I like that idea. They don't just magically show up somewhere. It's, you know, you're 
the whole field is blue, and then all of a sudden, way down in the corner where it's the most defended, monsters just magically appear. It doesn't do that. Now, don't get me wrong, mod- monsters do magically appear, but there seems to be at least a level of sanity to it. So, you're a fighter in an army, you're not you're not really leading the army, you're just kind of fighting alongside them. It's really weird, because it's not like you're part of the army, and you're not leading the army, you're just kind of there with the army, even though technically you're a soldier in the army, but you're not following orders. I don't get it. (laughs) It's weird, but it works. Um, And it's a really fun game, up until you do it for the fourth time, and then it's kind of like, okay, who cares? So I started playing some of the other stuff. I wanted basically where you get thrown into an area and then you just kill everything. And it's just waves upon waves of things that you have to kill. And that's all it was. I was looking for that in the the different gameplay versions. Well, Legendary or Legend or whatever it's called, the first one is the storyline. The second one is free play. And I figured, okay, that's got to be what I'm looking for. Well, I go to free play and basically what it is is you pick a level and you play that level again beginning to end and that's it that's all you do i'm like well that's kind of disappointing though it was kind of funny at the end of the first level you get the legendary green tunic the you know standard link tunic um but by that time i already beaten level two so i already had the green tunic so they hand me the green tunic while i'm wearing the green tunic it's kind of funny um i thought that was interesting um, then I played Adventure Mode, and Adventure Mode, the, the the picture it gives you to describe what the mode is. They don't describe what the mode is in text on the menu. They give you a picture of it, and Adventure Mode is a picture of the original Legend of Zelda, the first one, the NES one, the one that started it all, and I figured, ooh, does that mean we actually get the original Legend of Zelda on this, on the on the disc. That would be awesome. That would be sweet. No, 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 no. no. You get a map that's eight bit, and then you click on a part where you need want to start, and then you go back into the game, and then you fight things again. It's the exact same thing. So it's just different ways of doing the exact same thing, and it's like I said, kind of boring after the fourth time you do it. Um. But, yeah, the game's okay. I'm going to keep playing it, see if it's actually worth it, but it's going to be slow going for me playing that game because it's just boring after a while. Oh, now, is there anything else to talk about? Uh, No, at least not that I can think of because I've been spending three weeks doing every other goddamn thing in the world. Uh, Oktoberfest is done, so that's cool. Um... You know, the moving thing's done. I've got a couple of days off. I had, I was actually straight up told, take the next five days off. I'm like, okay, not arguing with you. You're the boss. <laughs> I actually was told to take the next five days off. I wasn't planning on it. I didn't insist on it. It was insisted upon me. Not going to argue with it. It's like, you know what? All right, I'm not arguing with it. I'm going to take the next five days off. I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm going to try to do a few videos. Um, Now, Space Engineer is the thing that I've actually been trying to keep up with. That's going to be a lot harder because there was a glitch in the server a couple of days ago. And, uh, okay, so where did I leave off? We had captured the big honkin' military ship, the boss of Space Engineers. And it was cool. So I ended the video there. Um... I had also finished my giant drilling machine, and I was drilling into an asteroid. Uh, got a whole bunch of uranium. We had a whole bunch of supplies. Um, so yeah, after I did that, uh, you know, I played a little bit after that, just you know, working on my big honking station that I was building, and uh, you know, an update happened, and then I logged in, and the first thing I noticed is that I took forever to load now it usually took 15 you know 10 to 15 minutes for it to load initially but this time it took 
a half an hour, maybe longer to load. I'm like, that's taking a really long time to load. So I canceled out of the loading. I restarted the server, and then I started loading it again. And it still took a half an hour to load. I'm like, what the crap is going on? Um, so I left it go, and I, I have no idea how long it actually took because I was watching YouTube videos. But it took forever to load. But when it finally loaded, and I was finally able to spawn in because i had problems even doing that i it was hard to select you know the spawn points and it, i couldn't click the spawn button i had to you know use the arrow keys go down and hit enter rapidly and then it let me spawn and then it's, it was running at like 10 frames a second and there were like thousands of ai ships everywhere i'm like what the fuck so i closed everything down i shut everything down because i could, you can't play that game that way so I shut everything down, um, turn, shut down the server, started it back up again with AI ships turned off, uh, logged back in, still took over half an hour, the AI ships were still there. So I'm like, frack. So I closed out my client and went, you know what, I'm just going to let the server run. I told it not to pause when nobody's logged in, so it's just going to run and maybe those AI ships will go away. Well, two to three days later, the AI ships were all still there. Uh, and yeah, so that didn't work. Um, and I was watching the AI ships, and they would creep forward like three meters and then jump back, and then creep forward three meters and then jump back. The server was overloaded. It was using eight gig of RAM, and it maxed out at eight gig of RAM, so I think it actually has a hard limit. It can't use more than that. Uh, but basically what it was is those ships would never go away because they can't go away. They keep coming back. Uh, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. So we had to scrap that server. We couldn't do anything about it. Uh, you no, know, it was a glitch. All those things dis all those things showed up, and we can't play the game that way. So we had to scrap the server, which sucks. But I started up another one, and this time we did it a little bit saner. I put up 20 asteroids instead of 100. Not nearly as cool, but, you know, it'll work. It'll be effective. Uh, DW's been playing with it. I haven't actually logged in yet. The next time I'll probably play is with DW, and, you know, we'll start all that again. Um, but, yeah, there's that. Um, and that's about it. That's all I can think of right now. I'm still very tired from the past few weeks. Uh, it's past midnight here, and I kind of want to go to bed. So I'm going to wrap it up here at, I don't know, 32 minutes, something like that. Pff, whatever. And I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And hopefully your transmission doesn't break down 500 miles away from home.